Hey guys, it's Homework Help, week six, day two. So I have three problems I'm helping you with today, and that's mainly because up here I want to refresh your memory in case you forget. This one can be tricky. Anytime area of compound figures is there, it's tricky. And statistical questions you might not have heard of. So I'm going to go over that so you know what a statistical question is. So first one, let's start with this one. Use mental math to find four-fifths of 25. So remember this trick for doing it. You start with the 25 and you divide by the 5. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. Now that's one-fifth of 25. So to get four-fifths, you then have to multiply by 4. So let's go through it again. 20 divided by 5 is 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 is 4 fifths of 25. All right, next problem. We have a compound figure that we need to decompose. We can either split it here or we can split it here. Doesn't really matter much in this one. This one's a little bit tricky either way you do it. So I'm actually going to split it right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of this pink so rectangle up here and this blue rectangle down here and then I'm going to add them together. So let me start with the blue one because that one I actually have both dimensions. So I need, I have this entire bottom which is 32 and I have this entire side which is 15. So all I have to do is do 32 times 15 and that will get me 480. So I'm going to write that in here. But the red one is going to be a little bit trickier. Now, I have the 13 here, but I don't have this side here. So here's what you got to remember. See this 26? That's the whole side. But we do not need this part of the 26. And that part of the 26 is actually 15. So if we can take 15, remember this is 15, away from 26, whatever's left will be here. So if I do that, take my 26 and take away 15, I'm left with 11. So that means this side here that I need is 11. You see how I got that? Um, now, for the red one, I just have to multiply my 11 times my 13. And if I do that, I get 143, but I'm not done. Remember, to get your final answer, you have to add the areas of the different parts. So I'm going to do 480 plus 143, and yes, you're allowed to use a calculator on this, is 623. And since it's area, it's going to be square millimeters. All right, so that's how you find that one. Okay, third question, and you're wondering, what in the world is a statistical question? Well, let me tell you what a statistical question is. A statistical question is a question that has more than one answer. So I'm going to write that down. That was quick, wasn't it? So statistical question is a question with several possible answers. So let me go through here and decide how many answers each question has. First question, how much does my teacher make each year? Well, there's only one answer to that, because your teacher makes a certain amount of money. Probably not too much. So, that's not a statistical question. Let's go down to this one. Do I weigh more than my best friend? Well, that's either a yes or no question, so that's not a statistical question. Notice I wrote, when I wrote my answer, I wrote with several possible answers. And yes and no just has those two, so that doesn't count. Um, third one. What age people watch American Idol? Um, that one might be a statistical question because think, I know my mom watches American Idol and she's like 152. I sometimes watch American Idol and I'm 25, I wish. Uh, and you might watch American Idol and you're 11 or you're 12. So that one has several possible answers. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be that one. And the last one, do cats run faster than dogs? Again, that's a yes or no question, so that's not a statistical question. So remember, statistical questions have several possible answers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that helped. And if you have any other questions, ask me in class. Thanks.